So iOS 17 is going to be at released hopefully sooner than later in WWDC on probably June 5th this year. Now the device list has been all over the place and we still don't have a, you know, 100% confirmed device list of what phones are going to be supported. If you remember last year, the iPhone 7 was estimated to actually still be supported. I think the iPhone 6S was pretty much estimated to be removed, but there were still rumors stating that the iPhone 7 was going to be sticking around. And weirdly enough, that iPhone also got drop support. It got discontinued. Now, I say that to say, I think this year the iPhone 8 will probably end up getting iOS 17, which I think it's not, it shouldn't be as shocking as some of you may think. The iPhone 7, the iPhone 8 is turning what, like six years old this year. And that is a long supported device for sure. But if you remember what Apple has been doing the last couple of years, they've been pretty much dropping iPhones in, in twos. So they dropped the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 at the same time, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 7 at the same time. So Apple has a chance they could drop the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10 at the same exact time. I have a feeling Apple's not going to do that. I have a feeling they're going to support these iPhones with iOS 17. And I actually think this has a lot to do probably with the regulations that have actually been coming out. So in the EU, Apple's pretty much having to go through and support sideloading on some of their devices. And I think, I don't know if this is true, but I think that's for all devices up until when that law was pushed. So if that ends up being the case, for the phones that are going to be getting that next generation of software, it would have to be the same device list because those were the same exact devices that were supported during that moment. Now, I think that could be wrong. I think Apple could go ahead and find a way to go around that, just like how they're going through the region lock situation now with siloing, where it's only going to be available in certain areas. But if you rewind back also in 2017, Apple was actually, it didn't even give all of the iOS updates of iOS 11 for the iPhone 10. So Apple was able to go ahead and pretty much continue to support the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and give those phones more software support than the iPhone 10, which was a, you know, more expensive device. And if Apple's going to go through and, you know, kind of give the last hurrah or last update to the iPhone 10, I have a feeling it's not going to be iOS 16. It could be. It's a pretty okay version of software. I think it's probably going to end up being a bigger version, which is probably going to be iOS 17. That way Apple can fix things, refine things. But also, if iOS 17 ends up being a bogged down mess, if Apple can leave the iPhone 10 there, I think a lot of people would end up upgrading to newer phones. I hope that doesn't end up being the case. But we've seen Apple do this a couple times with iOS 11 devices, as well as the iPhone 4S back in the day. So I'm pretty sure with all that being said, I think the iPhone 8 is probably going to end up getting iOS 17. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.